waiting in long lines, dealing with snide remarks from co-workers, driving through endless traffic, it can all become a bit much. While feeling angry by these daily annoyances is a normal response to stress, spending all your time being upset can become destructive. It's no secret that letting anger simmer or having rage outbursts hurts your personal and professional relationships. But it also impacts your well-being. Constantly bottling up our frustration can lead to physical and emotional reactions, including like high blood pressure and anxiety. Here are the list of 11 ways to control your anger. Number 1. Take deep breaths. In the heat of the moment, it's easy to overlook your breathing. But that kind of shallow breathing you do when you're angry keeps you in fight or flight mode. To combat this, try taking slow, controlled breaths you inhale from your belly rather than your chest. This allows your body to instantly calm itself. Number 2. Recite a comforting mantra. Repeating a calming phrase can make it easier to express difficult emotions, including anger and frustration. For example, try slowly repeating, take it easy, or everything's going to be okay, the next time you're feeling overwhelmed by a situation. You can do this out loud if you want, but you can also say it under your breath or in your head. Number 3. Try Visualization. Finding your happy place in the midst of a flight delay or work setback can help you feel more relaxed in the moment. Number 4. Mindfully move your body. Sometimes, sitting still can make you feel even more anxious or on edge. Mindfully moving your body with yoga and other calming exercises can release tension in your muscles. The next time you're confronted by a stressful situation, try taking a walk or even doing some light dancing to keep your mind off the stress. Number 5. Check your perspective. Moments of high stress can warp your perception of reality, making you feel like the world is out to get you. The next time you feel anger bubbling up, try to check your perspective. Everyone has bad days from time to time, and tomorrow will be a fresh start. Number 6. Express your frustration. Angry outbursts won't do you any favors, but that doesn't mean you can't vent your frustrations to a trusted friend or family member after a particularly bad day. Plus, allowing yourself space to express some of your anger prevents it from bubbling up inside. Number 7. Diffuse anger with humor. Finding the humor in a heated moment can help you keep a balanced perspective. This doesn't mean you should simply laugh off your problems, but looking at them in a more light-hearted way can help. Number 8. Change your surroundings. Give yourself a break by taking some personal time from your immediate surroundings. If your home is cluttered and stressing you out, for example, take a drive or a long walk. You'll likely find that you're better equipped to sort through the mess when you return. Number 9. Recognize triggers and find alternatives. If your daily commute turns you into ball of rage and frustration, try finding an alternative route or leaving earlier for work. Got a loud co-worker who constantly taps their foot? Look into some noise-canceling headphones. The idea is to pinpoint and understand the things that trigger your anger. Once you're more aware of what they are, you can take steps to avoid falling prey to them. Number 10. Focus on what you appreciate. While dwelling on your day's misfortunes can seem like the natural thing to do, it won't help you in the short or long term. Instead, try refocusing on the things that went well. If you can't find the silver lining in the day, you can also try thinking how things might have gone even worse. Number 11. Seek help. It's totally normal and healthy to feel upset and angry from time to time. But if you can't shake a bad mood or constantly feel overwhelmed by anger, it might be time to ask for help. If your anger is impacting your relationships and well-being, talking with a qualified therapist can help you work through the sources of your anger and help you develop better coping tools.